I'm Kathy Strange, cheese expert for Whole Foods Market. Welcome to my travelogue. Today we're in western Switzerland in the canton of Vaud, and the town we're visiting is Grand Corps. The Grand Corps cheese facility began production under the master cheesemaker Jean Daniel Jaguet in 2005. The cheese facility is a combination of three smaller facilities from the same city. The Le Gruyere cheese chosen for Whole Foods Market meets strict quality standards defined by the Appalachian Origin Control League, or AOC. The AOC supports traditional dairy farming and cheese production methods. This cheese reflects classic and authentic flavors. These flavors are created by the grasses grown in the Swiss Alps. Precise and time-honored production techniques are followed to make this product as the milk is heated in copper vats. Like all traditional cheese production, the process begins with fresh milk. Animals are milked twice a day. In this case, the evening milk is collected and let to set overnight. In the morning, the milk is collected again and combined. The milk is heated in copper vats while being stirred by a mixer that replicates the traditional mixing motion of cheesemakers using large wooden paddles. Active culture and rennet is added, and then the milk is heated. The rennet coagulates the milk, and the vat mixer is replaced by a cheese cutter. Once the curds have begun to develop, the transformation from raw milk to finished cheese is well underway. The temperature of the vats is increased. The curds are hand tested for proper consistency and size. Knowing when the curds are perfect is a special skill performed by the master cheesemaker. The curds then settle and they're reheated. This is why this cheese is called a cooked cheese. The vat contents are then pumped into molds, which are also forms, where the whey is removed while the curds are drained. At this point, a special identification mark is put on the cheese that records the date, place of production, and specific batch. Cheese curds are then pressed into molds for 18 to 24 hours. After setting overnight, the form is removed and the fresh young wheel of La Gruyere is revealed. But its journey is far from complete. The cheese wheel is then immersed into a salt water bath for 24 hours. This is called brining. After the brining, the cheese is moved into an aging room where the exterior of the cheese is regularly brushed and rubbed with salt for three months. After this initial aging period, the cheese must be inspected and certified as perfect by the AOC regulatory group. This happens prior to moving to the cheese maturation facility, which is called affinage. The amount of time and highly controlled conditions of La Gruyere's maturation is what gives this cheese its distinct flavor profile. Humidity and temperature must be guaranteed. Sandstone caverns provide ideal conditions. Wheels are periodically removed from aging racks, salted and brushed, and then returned. After five months of maturation, it can be commercially classified as La Gruyere, finally worthy of the name and the control designation of origin. Wheels of La Gruyere can age from five months and up. The flavors vary according to age. The classic Gruyere, aged minimally five months, has great aroma and a characteristic nuttiness. Le Gruyere Reserve, which is offered at Whole Foods Market, is aged minimally 10 months but can be aged up to 16 months. It has a nice nuttiness with an evolved spicy characteristic and a smooth taste. Le Gruyere is also known as great melting cheese. It's especially wonderful on top of French onion soup or used in a croque monsieur style sandwich with ham. And of course, it's a classic blend when used in fondue. Le Gruyere is also wonderful when it's grated in salads and on pastas. The soft, round, nutty flavor of Le Gruyere harmonizes with a range of wine and beer. White wines like Pinot Grigio and Dry Riesling and Un Oak Chardonnay bring out the fruity side of the cheese. Light reds like Pinot Noir and Beaujolais emphasize its richness and nuttiness. On the beer side, Pilsners and other crisp, hoppy beers are excellent pairings. So are sparkling ciders, either hard or non-alcoholic. That's it for this episode of Cheese Travels. Au revoir from the French-speaking western part of Switzerland. See you next time.